Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, Allure reports integration with the test engine and the test engine framework. So um, let's get started. Let's get started, not to waste more time. Uh, first, you we have to download the Allure and uh, we have to uh, download Allure and add them into our system variables. First, we need to Download it. Okay, I'll type in other downloads, other downloads, and open that link. Click on that link and the scroll down. Uh, manual installation. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And click on this link. Click on this link and click on two point nineteen. I'll use this version because I think this version is uh this version is why this version runs uh in more proper way than other versions so that's why i just use this and then i'll download it as zip and i'll click on it I'll click on it and it's downloaded while it's downloading i need to uh i need to wait a little bit um, i think it takes a little bit more time to complete or complete download it because this sometimes the some files um, might might not download it properly, and so that's why you need to wait. Uh, you need to wait. You need to wait. This blue blue colored circle disappeared until this blue colored circle disappear disappear. So, uh, if you don't wait, most probably you will get some error during run time, because the if if it is not if it is not disappeared most probably some files hasn't been downloaded yet so uh, yeah, i think it's downloaded because the blue colored uh, circle is disappeared okay open in files and open this and the, you can unzip this file you can unzip this file uh copy this file and copy this file and add this file into the c directory the directory you don't necessarily add this file into the c directory but the i think it sounds uh ridiculous to keep the system files in the downloads files so that's why uh it's better to insert these files into the uh you know c directory to be able to keep it more you know to be able to keep it more safe i don't know uh, maybe to be able to seem more professional maybe i don't know i i, I prefer to uh, keep this file into the <laughs> keep this file in the uh, c director anyway it's it, it's 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 not necessary to keep this file into the c director anyway and the go to the bin file go to the bin file go to the bin file and copy this path copy this path that's it copy this path and add this path into the system environment variables system environment variables okay oh click on the environment variables click on path click on path and click on new and add this path into this uh, line into this row after you add this file into this row click on okay and close all the tabs but i already um, because i already I've already uh, added these files. Uh, I don't want to add again because uh, I've already added right here. So after you add, close all the tabs. Close OK and close all the tabs. Now we will focus on the IntelliSide. side. We will focus on the IntelliSide uh, idea side. OK, what we have to do to be able to generate other reports what we have to do we have to do we have to do two things first we have to add dependency other dependency and then we uh, we need to uh, we need to insert the listeners into the xml files but of course we first we have to at the uh, first we have to you know create the xml files uh let's get uh, you know let's create the xml files let's create the xml files in the project file of course file you can call whatever you want 
I would like to call this file it's all tests. All tests dot XML. But you don't forget to uh don't forget to you know add the extension properly, otherwise you will get at some error X M L. That's it. Uh, to be able to you know fill in the uh fill in the XML files, you can check the you know you can check the test ng documentation. Yeah, and I will check this documentation to be able to fill fill in the uh, this uh, file test ng documentation and open that link and open the test ng XML link and click uh, copy copy this to it copy this example suite and paste it here. But I would like to, but I would like to delete all of this test suites because I don't want to run my task by the XML files. It's yeah, actually, it's not a, it's not the topic of this video. Uh, I, I know, I'm sure you know uh, how to run the task by XML if you watch this video. I'm sure you're all professional QA engineers. Uh, anyway, let's add the listeners between these two tag suits. How can we add? Of course, we will open the listeners tags, listeners tags. Listen, but first we have to, but first we have to add the dependency. We forget the, actually, uh, we forgot to add the dependency. But first we have to add the dependency. I'm sorry. Open the POM XML and go to the Maven repository. Go to the Maven repository. Repository Maven repository that's here. Maven repos and type in earlier test ng test ng and click on search and open the you know first link. Choose the two point nineteen and copy this dependency and paste it here. Paste it here. And of course, refresh the uh, Maven. Of course, you need to refresh the Maven. Okay. After you refresh, after refreshing, we can continue the. Uh, we can continue filling in the XML files. Anyway, uh, let's add the listeners. Listeners. Split this part. I don't need this part. To be able to close this line, I'll add some, I'll add the slash. Okay, okay. Let's talk about uh, let's uh, talk about uh, talk about listeners a little bit. You know the listeners. Uh, what are, what what are the listeners? Why we can why we use this uh, listeners? You know why we use listeners? Uh, actually, um, listeners. You know if you would like to implement something during the runtime, or if you would like to uh, generate something during the runtime, you can add this as a listeners. Because I would like to, you know, in this video, I would like to generate alert reports and the uh, to be able to generate this alert reports, I would like to add the alert report extension as a listener, as a listener. So that's why uh, now I'm I will uh, I will add this extension as a listener, as a listener alert report extension. Uh, what is this uh, plugin uh, or extension? IO, I'm sorry, IO dot Kameta dot alur dot less uh and test ng which uh, framework test ng dot alur test ng that's it. You need to add this plugin uh as a listener in the uh XML file to be able to generate the um other reports. Otherwise, you can't. You can't generate these. Uh, you can generate other reports, or you can get the other reports. Anyway, after you add, actually, this listener, you can uh, you you can add some extra annotation uh, below. Actually, uh, uh, sorry, uh, above your test. Let's go to our test. This is my test, you know, this is my test. It's a very basic search test. Uh, I'll type some, I'll type uh, Nutella 
in the Amazon search box and the click on the search button and the I verify uh, I verify this search results. That's it. That's really, really simple and basic uh, tests, you know. Anyway, uh, you need you have to add, you know, you must add the test annotation, but you don't necessarily add description or severity. It's better to add this annotation to be able to give, provide more um, detail about your tests. Uh, I think I, I prefer to use this annotation. So you can use it, but you don't necessarily use this annotation to be able to get the uh, other reports. You don't need this. It's not a must. Uh, but if you add this, I think it's uh, your report seems more professional. Anyway. Uh, by adding description, you can you can you know you can add some more description about your test about your test. For example, uh, basic search test. This is the uh, this is the you know extra explanation about your test to be able to explain more about uh, or to be able to describe uh, describe your your test a little bit more. You can add some description uh, as string in this annotation actually and also severity severity is a really good annotation to be able to uh, specify the importance of your uh, task you can use severity so, uh, after uh, you know after adding severity you can add severity level dot severity level level severity level severity level severity sorry severity level dot critical blocker minor normal trivial trivial means unimportant you know normal minor blocker critical i will uh, i would i would like to specify this uh, test as critical so i would like uh, so i want to use critical annotation critical uh, annotation so that's it um uh that's it that's all you have to do to be able to generate the other reports let's run the test let's run the test let's run the test okay we launch the amazon dot amazon and type nutella in the search box and verify the search results yeah that's it i close the web page that's it as you can see, as you can see, there is an extra, there is an extra, uh, an extra uh, file, the extra file has been added into my project directory. Actually, I didn't add. This is automatically generated. It's automatically generated called other results. This is the, uh, you know, this is the uh, JSON formatted files is all JSON formatted files. So that's what you cannot open this directly by clicking on it. But if you would like to run this uh, files, if you would like to generate, if you would like to see, uh, or if you would like to open this files, you need to convert these files into the HTML format. So to be able to convert these files into the HTML format, format you need to do one more thing. That's it. Alor, alor, serve. What's the name of uh, this package? Alor results. And type in here, type in here, name of the package, alor results. Alor results. Be careful. Um, be careful when you type in this name of the uh, package. But if you, if you don't, if you, if you don't uh, actually, if you misspell this uh, name, and most probably you cannot get, you cannot, uh, you cannot generate the uh, other results. So that's why be careful uh, typing into be careful uh, when you type in the name of the package actually. And after you uh, type in the name of the package and after you uh, write this comment line, actually, you can hit enter, generating report to temp directory. As you can see, your report has been generated 
in your default browser. Okay, that's it. You can uh, browse the all the suites and all the features, timeline, behaviors, packets. It's the overview uh, part. It, actually, it takes 12 minutes, 12, 12 seconds, sorry. And also, if you get some defects, you can see under this, uh, under this, uh, actually under this um, part. And also, if you would like to see all the tasks, you can check the suites, ch check the suites parts, as you can see, uh, as you can see, critical, you know, we specify, we specified uh we specified this task critical and it is it's and actually uh it seems here actually it looks critical in the uh other reports so that's why if you would like to uh give more details about your task suite you can add uh or critical annotations in your task anyway graphs and the packets, timelines, if you would like to uh, know more, if you would like to duration of your, if you would like to know uh, duration of your yeah. task, you can uh, check this, uh, check this feature timeline. Yeah, that's it. You can browse whatever you want. When you, when you generate other reports, you can browse and learn more about the other reports. That's it. That's how to do how to generate other reports. That's all I would like to uh, talk about today. Um, if you like this uh, video, don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up. Um, yeah, see you next lesson. Take care. Take care.